Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper. And here, I'm here today to share an insight, or uh, I don't know if it's really an insight, it's an observation that I've had over a period of time uh, that I've kind of learned and I want to share with you and have you uh, think about it a little bit. Um, and coaching, I've learned that when it comes to organization, uh, it requires work. You either have to spend the time to organize it and put things where they're supposed to be, or if you don't, on the backside, if you want something, you've got to go find it. Either way, it's effortful. The question is, is which do you prefer? Recently, I was uh, um, coaching a college kid, and um, I've, I've, I, whenever I'm working with college kids and stuff like this, I always talk about when they say they're unorganized or whatever, I say, no, no, you are organized. You actually have a system. You don't really know what it is. And so this particular individual, we were talking about uh, their closet, and, and um, if they go to it, sometimes they'll take a shirt off of it and just try it on or side. They don't want to wear it. And what's classic with people with ADHD, uh, if it's boring and there's lots of friction, it's uh, something they procrastinate on. So uh, getting the hanger, wrestling with it, the steps to really get the shirt on the hanger and stuff it back into an already overstuffed closet is too much of an effort. And so what the guy would do is he would just leave it on the floor. So I was asking about what his system was in order to get his stuff on the hanger. He said he didn't. And as I uh, outlined to him, it, he actually did have a system. That was when it was on the ground, it would end up going to the laundry. His mother would clean it and stick it back in his closet. I acknowledged that it was a system and it was a flawless system. Certainly he had to deal with her complaining over it, but small price to pay um, not to have to wrestle with putting it on the hanger. That conversation led into another conversation, which was really pretty cool that led to this video. And that is, is the guy uh, would put underwear and socks in a particular drawer, but the rest of his clothes, like shorts and stuff like that, was really in a pile. And he talked about how he needed to fold them and put them in the drawers. That was very effortful, uh, if you think about it, to fold something, pull it out of the drawer and stick it in the drawer. But the good part is, is if you want to know where something is and you have all your shorts in a drawer, then you know right where it is and you can go get it. Understand that there's work that has to be done in order to get the shorts where there are so that you can find it. The alternative is, is he would have a pile of shorts, like uh, within, a, within a whole bunch of drawers. He would just stuff them in there with no rhyme or reason. Then, when he needed a pair of shorts, and in this, this case he stated green, he would have to go look for the shorts because he couldn't put his hand on them immediately. Again, he would have to exhibit effort. Effort to put them away so he could get them quickly, or he stuffs them in a drawer and effort to find what he's looking for when he needs it. It was fascinating at that time because he said he really should organize it and stick it in the drawers. And I said, well, let's stop and think about this for a second. There's really no immediate reward or gratification for doing that. In fact, you might put something there that you would never use. But when you want the shorts, there's motivation to find those shorts in the pile. And that's why he does it that way. And it was funny because it was, I was working with this kid and he had an aha moment and I was actually having an aha moment. That's the cool thing about coaching is a lot of times uh, when something comes out of my mouth, it's new to me <laughs> and it manifests in videos like this. And it, I really began to realize is that when it comes to organization, you're either organizing and put a lot of work at first to put it away where it is so that you can get your hands on it quickly. Or if you don't do that work, there's work on the backside to sift through and find what you need when you need it. And for those with ADHD, if you begin to think about it, the choice is, the easier it is, is you're more motivated to find it on the backside. And I think that's why they do what they do. Now, why am I bringing this up? The insight to realize is that you're going to exhibit work. Which do you want to do? For this student was actually interesting because he began to realize is that um, when he's doing the work on the backside, it takes time, which makes him late, and he doesn't like to be late. And so the realization of this is now... Uh, helping him begin to uh, put the work in, in the front side. Now, what we've, we've done is we've gone away from the drawers, we've gone more to baskets, so it's more categorized. There's still a little bit of searching, but a little bit less. Bottom line from this, uh, this, this uh, video is I'd like you to acknowledge and actually realize is that when it comes to organization, you're either gonna either do work to put it away or you're gonna work to find it in a mess. The choice is really yours, and it really depends on your own individual motivation. And if you're trying to find it in a pile, that's really a choice that you made when you think about it, maybe unconscious. Hope this make, gives you pause to think about what you're doing, how you're doing it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make a comment below, a like your thoughts, and then also sh uh, subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Each week we release an insightful thought on ADHD. We hope you've enjoyed this show. Take care.